Oh man, my timber bile is running short. So the issue I have right now is that I'm running out of timber or lumber. So I need some logs for my sawmill. In order for me to continue my projects for the year, I need some lumber. Oh man, I need to do some firewood as well. Uh, okay, tell you what, I'm gonna do the logging first, then I'm gonna clear up this whole mess here. But that will be a different video. So I was actually thinking maybe I'm not gonna do uh, saw milling this year. So then I was thinking maybe I'm just gonna buy the lumber this year. But considering I'm kind of bored right now, let's go get the lumber guys. So yeah. So I have two options when I wanna do some uh, lumber scoring. Either I go to that forest over the road there or I go to that forest over the stream there. Plus I want to test out these things, how this works properly and also test out if I can use this trailer to transport the logs. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna go to that forest first and see if I can score some trees there. I definitely want to take some uh, alder for uh, live edge boards. I need some spruce, maybe pine. I prefer spruce. And if I don't find that many alder, I'm probably gonna choose birch instead. And then the frozen surface of the snow, it's so relaxing to walk on right now. So I do have a problem with this uh, forest on this side of the land. Basically, I can't really go beyond this uh, ditch here with my tractor into the forest because the entire forest is basically on a swamp so i'm pretty sure i would just sink into the ground here so the only way i have done logging in this forest before is i pretty much just pull the logs out with a very long steel wire rope i don't know i can't really figure out any good other option here so there's a couple of nice spruce trees here that I could probably fill I mean that one, this one, this one. I mean, I would love to do a lot more cleaning up here so more light could get into the forest, but because I have so much stuff going on, I really don't have any time. One, two, three, five. I think I'm good if I get at least like maybe 10 spruces down. Then I should have enough for this year and probably next year as well. Hmm, a couple of nice trees here as well. Let me check this doomer out on this uh, birch here. That is one hell of a doomer. I haven't found any aspen yet. I want aspen as well. I mean, there's only birch here. I'm pretty sure I already have my 10 logs that I want to get out of here. So a quick story about this forest, guys. My grandparents did uh, sell a lot of logs on this forest. So a company came in, hammered down a lot of logs hauled them out of there and they pretty much screwed over my grandparents because they did not get a cent for this. So basically that company stole these logs. Back then it was Soviet Union time so nobody really cared. And the justice system was non-existent. This is a very nice spruce here as well. I should probably take this one down as well. Aspen, where are Aspen? I need Aspen. Freaking birch everywhere, man. Freaking birch everywhere. What the hell happened to all the aspen? By the way, check this out. 10 years ago, this did not exist. I guess some seeds kind of flew here and this side just spring into ac action. You can see the amount of young birch going on here. And I have not cut any trees from this side of the new forest. Yeah, birch is really 
going crazy on this spot for some reason. Okay, well, uh, enough of chit chat, guys. I'm gonna go get some equipment and let's start this party off. I need to get some logs for my sawmill, that's the goal. Have I been saying Aspen all the time? I meant Alder. Why have I been saying Aspen all the time? Okay, well. Yeah. Probably go sledding with this thing. These are not the ones I'm looking for, but these will do fine as well. I got my winch up in front here. I got my tractor in the middle here, and I have my log grappler in the rear here. I mean, usually this tractor, T40, is a very good tool in forest because it's light, it's small, and it can pretty much maneuver very well in t uh, tight forest. But this loader and grappler makes the tractor so long I mean, it's probably like 18, uh, I don't know, light years long now, so yeah, it's not that good in the forest anymore. But anyway, let's head on off to the forest and see what we can do there.
getting here was an absolute nightmare. You can see how much snow there is still here. And that's why I didn't really want to come here right now, but... Yeah. Guess I'm here, so might as well just deal with it. Sauna, guys. Sauna. Man, these batteries don't last anything. Two minutes and the battery is dry. Absolute crap. 30 minutes of walking just to get a new battery. The things I have to do for you guys, but it's fine. Yeah, who didn't see that coming? Don't buy $5 access. Be right back, I have to go for a walk again. Man, if I have to go do another 30 minute walk or something small, I'm gonna lose my mind. Yeah, that's one down. Sure. Well, I was planning to remove that birch anyway, so I'm gonna try to get four trees down at the same time. That was a bit sketchy. Probably next time should start by cutting the birch first. But yeah, I got four trees down in one go, which is a win. <sighs> okay, well, let's continue this. Next up is that one there somewhere. I mean, look at what I did. Let's see what else we can cut down here. I want to cut this one next and maybe this one also but I think this is kind of far one two three four five six seven eight then I need two more Wow, that actually worked. So my goal was to leave these two smaller spruce trees standing. And I'm really happy that sometimes I do something that I actually want. Oh man, this is not good. I should stop breaking wedges. I mean, this was pretty bad, but this is a lot worse. I guess I can grind them down slightly and still use them. 
these things are pretty expensive i think i paid like 20 or 30 bucks for uh, two of them my lens cover is broken again i want to make this video one long video how i get all these logs cleared and next to my sawmill so i'm hoping this video won't be like mega long and maybe i can make it shorter somehow almost like new I mean, usually this epoxy glue is pretty strong stuff. But if it breaks again, I'm just gonna buy a wooden handle. Well guys, another wonderful day to continue the work in the forest. Not really though. Also, there's no wind today. That is really helpful. Yesterday I had wind blowing in that direction all day, but today completely quiet. Come on, man. Sketchy action was a success. I hate cutting trees. There is a lot of freaking trees here right now and I need to do a uh, cleanup. I need to cut all the branches off and then I can use the tractor to get the logs out. But I'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse for this. Before I start off the time lapse, I still need to get this tree down somehow. I'm gonna cut that birch out of the way, maybe the whole thing will just come down nicely. <sighs> okay, that was weird. Time lapse. Stop falling down. Wow, this thing is absolute crap.
Jesus Christ. What the freaking mess here right now. I mean, I got all the trees down that I wanted to get down, but this is pretty messed up here. So my plan initially was that I'm gonna pick these logs up, place them somewhere here, and then I'm gonna come here with the trailer and the bobcat to load the logs on the trailer. But right now I cannot get the bobcat here. You can actually see how deep the ground level is. So there's probably like a half a meter of snow on top of here. So that means my bobcat would not even reach this area. It would probably pretty much just sink somewhere down the road somewhere. I'm just gonna pile a bunch of logs on the front end and then I'm gonna take a couple of logs in the grappler and then just drive home. That is probably the most best way to get these logs out of here at this time. It would be really cool if I had that uh, log trailer with a grappler mounted to it. So I could pretty much just drive next to the pile and just pick up the logs with that. I'm gonna start with this whole area first because it's currently blocking my driveway out of here. It kind of works, but I don't know, the soil is becoming a problem, I'm thinking. Probably the best solution I have here right now. It's a bit more manual labor for me, but at least I can get the logs out of here. And I'm hoping to get all the bigger logs out of here today. Starting tomorrow, it will get warm. And I don't want to be here when it gets warm. Because all this area is literally a swamp area during the summer time. So I'm in a bit of a rush right now. Yeah, let's get to work. I need to get these logs out of here today. So it wasn't that bad actually. It took me only like two minutes to drive here. Right now, let's just go get another load. By the way, check out my homemade camera holder for metal surfaces.
channel man driving this thing in forest is so much fun you can literally feel like you can go anywhere okay well i'm starting to do some progress here only got one more left there and then everything else is here but there's a lot of them here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, and thirty-nine. Oh crap, that's a lot. Better get back to work. It's pretty messed up here. I can't even see the logs. It's somewhere down here. This is so messed up.
This was the last log out and it was 9 meters long. Good thing I had this chain on hand. So that worked out nicely. I think I still need to do a couple of trips to get the smaller pieces out that is meant for firewood. And for that I'm gonna use my trailer. Then I can actually dump something with this thing for the first time. Which would be great. Kind of amazed that this tractor actually survived this uh, onslaught. I think this thing got more hours today than the entire last year combined. I pretty much ran this thing whole day straight. And yeah, the log grappler actually worked out pretty well. I did have a little problem. Uh, the splint that was here, I don't know, it came off. And then this whole uh, bar here just came off. These are pretty useless, don't buy this crap. I still have that one, but I lost this one as well. This will not come off here very easily. But anyway guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for the day and I'm gonna pick it up uh, in about a week. Hopefully the weather has not turned for the worse. Oh yeah, another gorgeous day. So I'm gonna use my bobcat to sort the two different piles out. I'm gonna put all the firewood stuff here and I'm gonna try to put the lumber material all here. Mm, do I need to go down that road? Uh, I have no idea. Whatever, I'm gonna put the bigger ones here. Okay, so let's sort these two piles out. So yeah, but guys, I'm thinking I'm gonna go get a couple of more alder trees. Yeah, let's go get a couple of more loads of alder, then, then I think I have enough. So yeah, my goal is to get a bunch of boards out of these. But anyway, uh, I don't need the log grappler anymore. And this thing performed pretty nicely. So I need to get the trailer on my tractor now. Because there is a bunch of firewood still there. And you know what that means, guys? I can actually finally dump something with this thing. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Let's see if I can actually use this for firewood as well. Forgot my key.
kind of an odd angle here. Uh, whatever, I think it's fine. So I'm gonna call it a day again and we'll pick this up tomorrow, hopefully. This video is getting kind of long. Five. Yeah, so this is the fifth day and I'm hoping to finish it all tomorrow. Uh, let's go try to get some loads out of the forest. I'm gonna put this thing as full as I can put it. Okay, well, this is about most I can manage here. Uh, didn't have any problems at all driving out of the forest. Just felt like I didn't have any load on it all. Also, the tires are not bowing at all, so I guess I can put quite a lot of more weight on this thing. All right, so I'm gonna dump this thing now. Hopefully it will dump and not get stuck in there. That would be weird. Actually, not weird. That would be quite a bad situation. Mm, that's not right as well. That would be absolute crap. Yeah, let's go with that one. Freaking ice everywhere. Yeah, fully empty. Nice. This thing actually works. I supposed to get the camera down now. Wow, I'm such a moron. Finally, this was my last load, and I am finished. I'm thinking this video is too long, but but as I said in the start, I wanted to get all this in one video as I go to the forest, cut down a bunch of trees, and then transport them here. And now I have everything here nicely. A nice firewood pile here, a nice sawmilling pile here, another wonderful sawmilling pile here. Can you stop coming this way? And another nice sawmilling pile here. Wow, I'm exhausted. Overall, I think I did pretty good, but a couple of them did crack on me, sadly. 
Yeah, this happens if you don't uh, got it the way you're supposed to got it. So yeah, this is my fault. And the trailer worked out pretty good as well. I mean, loading this stuff on the trailer was uh, an absolute nightmare, but but dumping it was a lot better. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up and. In the next video, I will most likely be dealing with the firewood. So yeah, you guys will be seeing a couple of videos about me doing a bunch of this stuff here. Probably not the most interesting videos, but I guess better than nothing, right? Anyway guys, as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!